hello friends this is bright here so through this demonstration i am going to explain how does a function return a structure consider this example here i have totally three rooms this is the first room second room and the third room so the first one and second one's room each 5 feet width and 3.2 inches and the third room this is a summation of these two rooms you can see that 5 feet plus 5 feet and here 3.2 inches plus 3.2 inches so first we are going to design the structure for such a room so let me design the room for that I am creating a structure called a room now as you know we need two attributes or two members one four feet and another four inches so inch feet for example five feet then the next one we want the floating point so I am declaring a variable of type float called inches now I am going to initialize these two rooms so for that I am going to say that I have R1 and R2 now two rooms are created now each room I am going to initialize by saying that this first one is 5 feet and the next one is 3.2 inches and the next one also I am going to initialize with the same value if you want you can go with the different values nothing wrong in that 3.2 inches float so now the two rooms are ready now I am going to show how will you add these two rooms feet plus feet and inches plus inches I totally saying that 10 feet and 6.4 inches so that I am going to do in a function so let me name the function like this add rooms and to this rooms I am going to take the arguments r1 and r2 I will be passing r1 and r2 so I am going to say that this r1 should be of again same type room the next one it is so room r2 if you want you can go with some different variables x1 and x1 nothing wrong in that then what is the role of this function the role of this function is add the feet of feet of uh, two rooms and inches also the feet and inches of two rooms so let me write like this feet and inches of two rooms now i am going to take the feet of r1 and r2 we can take like this r1 dot feet i am going to add with r2's feet so let me take it in a variable called again feet like that I am going to find the summation of inches float inches r1 dot inches plus r2 dot inches now these two data I am going to initialize I am going to initialize for my third room so third room I am going to say that this is of 10 feet by saying that R1's feet plus R2's feet and R1's inches plus R2's inches so now I have to initialize the sec third structure that is our this final room the big room for that let me declare room you can say like this big room equal here itself I am going to initialize the resultant feet after adding the summation of R1's feet and R2's feet and 
R1 inches with R2 inches, which is available in the variable inches. Now I want to say that this function returns this structure. For that, I'm going to say that return big root. So now this function is returning some data of type root. So the function return type should be root. So not only adding but also this will this returns a structure of type room room type it returns a room type data so let me come and like this this is how the normal documentation should be. Fine. So here we are adding the data and returning it. Now I am going to call this function add rooms. Add rooms. I am going to pass these two structure variables R1 and the next one R2 now when I call this function it returns some data and this data can be given to some variable for example result now we have to see what is the type of data this function returns it is returning of type room so row. now we can check the final result c out feed is result dot feed again you can say inches result dot inches so now let us check we are getting the expected data or not I am running the program you can see that we are getting 10 feet and 6.4 inches so this is how the function returns a structure thank you for watching this